Hello everybody and welcome to a new ish series. Um as you can see, uh this is a game called From Dust and um I got it on the PSN, but you can get it through Steam or on Xbox Live if you're into that sort of thing. Um but I have it on, I have it for PSN, you know whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> this is not going to be a regular um a regular let's play of sorts. The reason being is because this game is very, very fun. I am I totally want to show it off, and I was really thinking about doing a let's play of it. Um but I was thinking about it and although the gameplay is fun to play, it's not entirely the most entertaining thing to like sit there and watch in my opinion. I don't know. I don't think I'd be able to do it justice if I were gonna just do an LP of it. So this is from dust. Let's Q and A from dust. Ho 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 ho! And for those of you who were born and raised under a rock, um, Q and A is question and answer. <laughs> uh, I haven't done a proper Q and A in a very long time. The last time I did one was for my 100 subscriber special. This isn't a special. This is just because I felt like doing it. <laughs> But anyway, I thought this would be a fantastic game to do a Q&A over. And as you can see, these visuals are just fantastic. But I'll get into the Q&A a little bit later. I want to explain the game a little bit. Ai si pui apertama. Ti da kata me kumo, ti da ro kati ketawi. As you can see, he's speaking some sort of other crazy language that none of us know. It might be Swahili. I'm just kidding. I don't think it is. But anyway, this is kind of like a a god game, I guess, where we don't control the people. We don't control those people. There. Um, we are actually that big black ball of mass called the breath. And the breath can control uh, very uh, quite a bit of things in the environment. Um, it doesn't have control of everything, but it does have control of quite a few things in the environment, such as um, it, it can control the sand and um, and uh, lava and water and things of that nature. And the best way I can describe this game. It's actually... Ooh! See, now that's your cursor that you move around the world with. The best way I can describe this game is it's a, um, a puzzle game where you guide AI. The little, the little guys, they'll kind of do kind of what you want them to do. Sometimes the AI can be a little derpy. But, uh, especially in the later levels. Oh, the later levels. This first level is pretty simple. It's just getting you, um, it's kind of teaching you what you, what you need to know. Um, and basically, that white line, that's the AI's path that they're going to follow. And, um, it's your job, as the breath, to, um, kind of create a path for them to go along. Now, they haven't given us any instruction on how to do that yet, but they will soon. They will soon. Oh, look at that guy. Run it. Basically, it'll give you like a little, uh, yeah, the woman can build villages, gain knowledge, blah, blah, blah. It says that for everyone, so it's not like that person is special. They all can do that. <laughs> but, um, ah, there we go. This is our first obstacle, and that little icon is there to show that, oh my god, help me, I'm incompetent, help me! So you have to help them by moving earth and building a land bridge for them to get across. So that's what I'm doing right now. And you just place it right there to create a bridge. And I do a really derpy job at doing this. <laughs> Sometimes the controls are a little touchy, uh, but it, it's not something so crazy. Like, you get used to it really quickly. But I haven't played this game in, in over a year, so I'm a little rusty at placing the dirt. <laughs> so, um, and then once you create a land bridge, they can move across, or they could be derps. Come on now. 
get across there. Anyway. So that's mainly the gist. You can move sand that way, you can move water that way, and I believe in, a, in the next video it'll show you uh, that you can move lava in that way. Um, and there's a lot of other elements in this game that's really fun. So basically, you're supposed to get your, uh, your AI people from one end to the other. And here is the end. <laughs> so there you go. That's pretty much the premise of the game. And um, in later levels, you're supposed to populate cities, and you can't reach, and you cannot access the end of this ending until um, you've populated every city. So that's a thing. And there, it goes a little bit more in depth than that, but that's just a quick overview. It's basically a puzzle strategy game. You get from point A to point B, boom, and then you have this interesting cinematic. Although, in between levels, it's the same cinematic, and I wish that they had kind of varied it up a little bit. But it's still beautiful. Um, so anyway, that's the idea. But, and I wanted to show this off because it's, it's a real gem, it's a really great game. But, like I said, it's not the best spectator sport ever, so what I decided to do with this project is make it, instead of it being a let's play, it'll be a Q&A. And I just want to go ahead and preamble the fact that I, this is not my original idea. I actually stole this idea from Rock Paper Mario. He did the same thing with, I think it was um, doing the gym leaders in Pokemon Stadium, I think. Uh, it was some sort of Pokemon game. Um, and that's that's one of the cities that you have to populate. Okay, there you go. That's You, you find your totems and you populate at the totems. Um, and if there's anything that you really want to know about the game that I'm not covering, it tells you in the game, so I guess if you want to pause and read it, that's, you know, that's up to you. Anyway, so like I said, I'm preambling it. I stole it from Rock, Paper, Mario. In fact, I don't even know if, if correct me if I'm wrong, Harry, but I don't even know if Harry came up with it either. I think he might have taken the idea from Sweet Victory LP, I think, whom I have had, um, who I have not had the fortune to meet as of yet, but I, I hear very wonderful things about them. So, Sweet Victory LP, if you, maybe you're watching this, then you, if it weren't for you, then I would have been doing this. So, awesome. Also, another little uh, disclaimer, I suppose, is that this entire project is going to be post-commentary. Um, and the reason for that is because these la the first levels are easy. These later levels, holy crap. These later levels are really difficult. Um, <laughs> and I wouldn't be able to focus on you guys' questions if I were doing live commentary. It would be... I think I'd be able to answer like three questions and then I'd be like, this game! <laughs> but, um... But yeah, oh, and see here, I'm, I'm moving water like I said I could. <laughs> and you cannot populate cities if they have water in them. And I'm talking about you cannot populate cities if they have water. If they have like a teeny tiny itty bitty puddle. That's one thing I didn't really particularly like about the mechanics is that you cannot populate. If there's a tiny itty bitty puddle that you can't see, you cannot populate there. Anyway, so now I'm going to take this time to explain a little bit about the project. First of all, uh, like I said, it is a um, it's a question and answer, meaning that you can leave your questions for me about you know whatever you want in the comments. Uh, it's just like a traditional Q&A, except it's going to be several videos long. I'm not entirely sure how long this project's going to be. I'd say maybe about 15 videos or something like that. But the idea is that you get to put your questions in the comments. I will read the questions, and then in the next video I'll answer your questions. And then you leave any other questions in the comments of the next video, and then I'll answer those questions in the next video. And it's just a big chain of question answer thingy things. But with all cool little projects, there needs to be a little structure. So there are some rules to this project. And there we've populated our second city. So, um, And then once all the uh, cities are populated, you just go straight to the end. But I actually take a little time to build up the vegetation, um, although I don't get to 100%. There's no real reason to getting to 100%. It's just to be like, hey, I got to 100%. But I decided to try it anyway. So, um, back to the rules. 
first of all, uh, like I said, you ask your questions in the video. You ask your questions in the comments of this video, and then in next in the next video, I'll answer those questions. So that's fun. Um, very specific rule is that there is only one. There can only be one question per comment and the only reason I I request that is because I'm going to be answering this isn't a pick and choose kind of thing I'm gonna be answering every single question so if there's like a bajillion questions in one comment then ugh, it's gonna be too much too soon um, you know uh, and and that's not to say that in the second video you can leave another question in the comments of that video so Technically, you could leave like 15 different questions, you know, just leave a question in the comments of every video of the series, and I'll and I'll answer it. But uh, just for the sake of pacing, I really would prefer one question per comment. Uh, if you leave more than one, then I'm just going to pick my favorite one. I'm not going to answer them all. Although, you can leave a comment that has kind of multiple answers, but they have to be like related. They can't just be like really random, like what countries have you visited and what is your fl favorite flavor of pudding and you know like they can't just they have to be related to each other and unless we're talking about like the UK and Yorkshire pudding that I don't see how those two topics are related so yeah <laughs> um, anyway uh, let's talk about the schedule for this project a little bit um, I this is gonna be there's gonna be a video once a week every Saturday so you can ask your questions up until uh, Thursday at midnight or well okay I guess I guess it would be Friday at midnight because I want to take Friday and then and if it want once it's like 12 when it's once it's like Friday 1251 I won't be taking questions anymore for that video um, because I want to take Friday to record myself answering the questions and then Saturday I will be uploading the next video so you guys have a week to upload or to upload you guys have a week to uh, ask your question and post it in the comments um, so yeah so hopefully if I can stick to the schedule there will be a from dust Q&A video every Saturday so uh, yeah, that's that's the schedule. I hope it's a little bit clear. I hope I'm not like confusing you guys with how derpily I'm um with how derpily I am um uh, answering the question here. Well, I'm not answering any question. How derpily I am explaining the project is what I mean to say. And um we get pretty far in um in producing vegetation but I don't go all the way unfortunately because I was just like yeah there's not enough sand basically to increase your vegetation in this game you basically have to spread sand around and the vegetation will eventually as long as it has water a water source the vegetation will um, the vegetation will grow there eventually so I decided to just give up and just just end the level <laughs> but I have to build a land bridge first so that's what I do Anyway, to wrap things up for this first video, I just want to uh, to make it clear that if you have a question about the process of this video and not like a question for the Q&A, like, hey, I didn't understand your schedule, or I didn't understand something or another, just make sure that you say in the comments that uh, you that this is a question about the project. Um, make sure to make that clear, otherwise you know because all all the comments are gonna be questions you know so if you just have a question about the how the comment goes it'll make it easier for me if you just make sure to specifically say hey this is a question about the project not a question for you to answer in your next video so yeah so that is the end of the second level these videos are gonna get a lot longer so please don't feel pressured to make it to ask a question like right now because these later videos are going to be a lot longer. So if you need to wait a week or so, you know, that's fine. Or if you come up with new questions, that's fine. But anyway, uh, I will talk to you guys later. I will cock. I'll talk to you guys later. And I hope you like this project. I'll be seeing you. Bye.